Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, it's like so we've got a. This is this is okay. like a Benny Hanna moment right here. <laughs> this is like this is incredible. Hey there, it's Amanda, and I'm not in my home kitchen because I have a special special guest, Sam Sam Sifton from the Times, my former boss. Yup. <laughs> He is here for lots of reasons. And the big one is that uh, this book just came out, The Essential New York Times Cookbook, which the first edition came out 10 years ago, or actually 11, technically. 11 years, 11 years ago. And the reason that I decided to write a new edition is because in that 11 years, Sam has totally transformed <laughs> the Times food coverage and launched the N NYT cooking app. Uh, which has been an enormous hit and which just really I feel like like ramped up your like home cooking food focused coverage so much and there was tons of great content that I felt like needed to be like distilled and added to the, if we were going to call this the essential New York Times cookbook it had to include have to have this. Those 10 years. Yeah why don't you start by like telling us about the, the and like the, the origin of, of the cooking app. Okay so obviously the New York Times has been publishing recipes for a long time right like really since, long since it's our inception as a newspaper. So 170 years we've been- 100 million years. 100 million years we've been publishing uh, <laughs> recipes. And what happened to those recipes after publication was they went to what we call in the newspaper business, the morgue. Boom, were, boom, you can search boom. for them kind of, but it really didn't work as a, yeah. as a recipe service. So if for instance, I wrote an article about the chef David Chang and wanted to write about his recipe for Bosom, uh -huh. I would write a beautiful, I, I like to think I write a beautiful article. So I write this beautiful article and then there's a recipe at the end. The recipe and the article go off into the morgue and the recipe has no context. It's like this little shirt tail on the, on the article, right? <laughs> we thought, what if we could take all of those recipes out of the morgue and put them into a living, breathing database, a, a digital cookbook that could take us into the future? So we're gonna make Bosom this guy here, and it's a recipe by David Chang that Sam wrote about years ago. That's correct. Should we get started? Yep, let's do it. Okay, so we make this uh, bosom. Look at this thing. We make it um, <laughs> with a pork butt, which is actually a pork shoulder, um, but the child in me loves that it's called a pork butt. And the, the one that we have here is just an is just beautiful. It's just a beautiful piece of meat and it costs, it's probably a hundred dollar cut of, cut of meat, but you don't need to get the fancy Bennington educated pork to, to do this. <laughs> I've made this dozens of times with commodity pork from the, from the supermarket and those pigs probably don't live great lives, but it tastes delicious when you do it and it's okay to do. How would you describe Bosom? Like what, what so what is we're the gonna, dish? So what we're gonna do, okay. can I make you yeah. do some stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so we have some kosher salt there and we have some white sugar. Okay. And we're gonna kind of rub kosher do, do salt. You start with the salt? Yeah. Okay. A okay. lot of it, all okay. over. Okay, all right. And so what we're gonna do is get salt and sugar all over this pork okay. and then we're gonna leave it that in the- That feels good. It feels good, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave it in the fridge overnight okay. to cure. So really, it's the simplest recipe in the world. We're gonna go salt, we're gonna go sugar, we're gonna let it okay, rest overnight. <laughs> wow, look at you. Now, now, I'm, just, now I'm just dumping it on yeah, I'm like, okay, we gotta yeah, get- Now okay, it's super sorry, I gotta keep up with you here. Right now. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is just let that guy sit overnight and uh -huh. um, and get that little dry Ooh, brine cure on. And then pleasing. we're gonna cook it in the oven all day. Oh like my that's God. it, baste it a few times. I love it. And then you're like, holy cow. And it becomes a cake of deliciousness. Now we're gonna get this in the fridge and let it cure overnight. Now, some, some would yes. wrap the whole thing in plastic, uh -huh. which is fine if you like, but I think it's also fine to just, there's nothing odiferous about this pork. Right. Um, and yeah. it's not gonna pick anything up. So you don't have to waste wrap it plastic. if you want, yeah. or don't wrap it. Just get it in the fridge overnight. Good, you could you even know, put a tea towel on top hours. if you wanted to. That would be cute. Yeah. Would you dampen it? I be would like, not. I would not dampen it. Okay. It was, you know, give, give your fridge a nice look. Yeah, yeah. Aesthetics are important, as you will see. <laughs> so here we go, Amanda. One day later, are you wearing the same clothes? So oh, yes, my. Am. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the drinks are like, this and ice is incredible. So through the magic of time travel, mm. 
a day has passed and this guy has been curing that whole time. And I don't know how well you can see that color, but it's a darker red yeah. than it was yesterday. And the, there's a sort of, this isn't a great word, but there's a kind of sweaty quality <laughs> to, to the top here. Here's my thought on racks. Okay. You put a rack in there, you gotta clean that rack. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? That's a, that's a this, really good Now point. all you have to do is clean the pan. Yep, I agree, I agree. And what we're gonna do is get it in the oven and then we're just gonna like, this is this is why it's such a great working from home yeah. recipe, is it's just in there yeah. all day. It's you just doing this thing. Like I put it in usually after like a morning news meeting or early lunch. I think it's smart after an hour or so, it starts to throw off fat and yeah. render. You know, you just kind of pop it up like that and do some basting. Yes. And, yep. and you can baste once an hour, it's fun. Twice in six yeah. hours, whatever. It's like when you go get to get your third cup of coffee, give it a little baste. Exactly. Baste it when you think of it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Into the oven. Here okay. we go. Okay. We're going in this one? Yeah. Give it a little spin so we can see that beautiful meat. Call it a day. So we've got it in the oven, our big, large format piece of meat. And I want to do a little foreshadowing of where we're going to go, right? Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to have this big collapsing pile of delicious pork. Yeah. And how are we going to eat that? We're going to eat it in the Sam style. So we're going to have lettuce leaves and we're going to tear off pork and put them in the lettuce leaves. And then we're going to anoint the pork with another incredible recipe out of the Momofuku world, which is ginger scallion sauce. Which I'm gonna show you in how to make in a sec. We'll have some sam sauce, yep. which is just a mixture of sherry vinegar mm -hmm. and gochujang and samjang and some oil um, for dipping. A and little rice. We're gonna have some rice, we're gonna have some kimchi, I'm gonna shuck some oysters so that we can do it, but between you and me, you don't have to do any of that. As long as you have the lettuce, uh -huh and some kind of condiment to, yes. to dip in. One of these guys, yeah. Whether that's straight samjang mixed with a little sesame oil or just sesame oil with salt and yes. white pepper, yeah. you're gonna be in, in good shape. Yep. And I imagine it'd be pretty good like just ripped onto a hot dog bun with some <laughs> ketchup if you wanted. But that's not what we're gonna do. I'm just wanna emphasize you can make bosam however you like. Right, we're gonna do it up today. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean oysters and everything. There is like a boatload of very nicely sli sliced scallions. I did not slice these because they wouldn't look like that if I did. Right. And then this is ginger and it's uh, soy sauce and sherry vinegar and oil. And that, that's all been kind of like macerating here. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna mix them together. Now with this, th that's, that's it. That's this my, is it. This my is very it. high cooking school technique. This just... is, it's amazing really what Amanda yeah. has, has achieved in her <laughs> life as a, as a professional food person. So this particular condiment yeah. you can use for anything I, you could put it on poached chicken you could oh, mix yeah. it with mm -hmm. pasta you could um, add it to eggs our friend francis lamb is yes. a thing where he makes it and then kind of cooks, cooks it, it down yeah and cooks it down and down and down and down and that's fantastic and that recipe is also in the book it's his his, his scallion sauce there are so many recipes in this book the new york <laughs> times publishes a lot of recipes they do they do and there are so many good ones one thing i want to talk about with this recipe sam is that I feel like this recipe changed like my understanding of like what makes a great dinner party. Yep. Because I made this for a dinner party. It was the most <laughs> cacophonous yeah. dinner party I've ever had because there's lots of this. There's all these dishes. There are yeah, exactly. Going. Yeah, it's totally. It's so much fun it's to so do it fun. that way, yeah. right? Okay, so all right, you're so, okay, do this? Okay, so I'm gonna add the oil. Okay. And then I'm going to add the uh, gochujang, okay. which is the darker one here. Fiery. Yes, and it's like basically straight up chili paste. Yep. And then the samjang, which has, uh, it's a fermented chili and bean yeah. paste, right? Soybean paste, yeah, yeah. exactly. And then, little, and then, oh, and then this, this is um, some sherry vinegar. Yep. Here we go. Okay, hope this bowl is gonna carry all this. I think it's this. gonna be okay, and then okay. you're gonna mix, yeah. mix okay. that Okay, I'm gonna down. gently mix this over here quietly while Sam uh, okay. checks, checks some oysters. And I'm gonna, now the oh, oysters thing is, it's like pure oh. chang. The oyster thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know where that came from, but it really does add um, a kind of, I don't know, it just adds an extra something to, mm -hmm. to, to the process. Well, it sort of makes me think of like, you know, it used to be popular to have like 
steak with oysters on top. Yep, and this is a, like a version of that, of that very moment. Isn't that what, what it's called? Carpetbagger is... steak, I think. Is it really? Yeah, carpet what a baggers. great name! <laughs> it's oh. like a, a like early twentieth century version. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wow. Nice. Just FYI, you might want to whisk for this. Yeah, I think you want a bigger bowl there. <laughs> and a bigger bowl. But, we're, you know, I'm making it happen. It's slowly, it's slowly... emulsifying. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just going to do yep. six here for right now because I came here to talk, not to work. So, a lot of time has passed, like easily eight hours. <laughs> yes. And um, I'm going to take that thing out of the oven. Here you go with your, do your double oven mitt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna go over here. Oh my God, this thing looks oh bonkers. Wow. Okay, I wanna do okay. some spinning. Oh yeah. Yeah, we actually like, put there's a lot a carousel. To, there's a lot to look at here. So we see it's super wobbly. Oh, wow. oh yeah. The fat cap, I use all these technical words. The barky thing that's here still covers the fat, which is down there. It's delicious. <laughs> now one thing I like to do at this okay. point just because is find a part that you're not really going to see and just pull off a little Ooh, bit of, oh my God, thank of you. meat from the bottom just to see how soft it is. Just checking to make sure it's okay. Mm. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. So good. So for a late, wow. From a labor to return perspective, that's Ooh. pretty huge. Yeah. Right? Big ROI. Two ingredients. Yeah, big ROI. <laughs> Buy <laughs> salt, mm -hmm. sugar, thyme, heat. Yeah. And we're like, that's fine. You can serve that. We're done. If it, you want. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, seriously. But here's the thing that, that Chang does that I okay. think is really interesting. So it's done. Okay. But I'm going to take a little light brown sugar here mm -hmm. and kind of, I'll put a little salt on there as well. Ah. But this sugar is gonna caramelize in a super hot oven. We're gonna blast it at like 500 for a little while. It gets almost like a candy. Yeah, it gives, it gives yeah, you a it sort of candied, candied quality. Adding the this <laughs> might be for some a bridge too far. Why? Because they might get leopard spotting from the heat so that it's like some parts of it are over caramelized, it doesn't collapse exactly, and then they're worried, they wanna put a note on, like I don't use the sugar. If you don't want to use the sugar, don't use the sugar. Also, like you could do that, and if you don't like that part, you don't eat that part. Yeah, exactly. The There's yeah. tons here. That way, it's like there yeah, is enough here to feed for everybody. a small okay. army. Sliding anyway. that guy in there. Woo! Nice high heat. Oh my goodness, that that's is really beautiful. pretty. Okay. All right. So how long does that have to do that for? We're gonna do it for about 15 minutes. Do you hear what's going on behind us? No. Let's go check Let's, this out. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, I can hear it now. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, it's like, so we've got a, this is, this is okay. like a Benihana moment right here. <laughs> this is like, this is incredible. We got great sounds. I feel like it, look, it started like, there's, here's like so lava. neat. Look it's, at that, look at that. Like, Amazing. And you can see how this is popped up, kind yeah. of souffle-like. Yeah. And that's all going to break apart deliciously when we, when we eat it. Okay. One thing that I'll point out that I've learned over the course of the last year or so making this dish over yeah. and over again is that this pork fat yeah. that's in here uh -huh. is an incredible addition to the psalm sauce. Oh. You can mix a little bit in with okay. your ginger scallion stuff. You can mix it with sesame oil for a, just a dipping sauce. But nice. like, as the kids say, don't sleep on the pork fat. So just fat. spoon some of that in there. I'm yep. just going to okay. add one to that. Okay. And one to this, which will probably sizzle a little. All right. Maybe two to that. Okay. And just like that, it's all set. <laughs> so, what do we got going here? We have our incredibly beautiful bosom. Amazing. We've got some bib lettuce. I'm a stickler for the bib, but you know, it's great with romaine if you want to do it that way. But romaine's like a little too stiff. Right. Like I, what I love yeah. about this is it's yeah. like a little, it's like a green tortilla. Yeah. Made mm -hmm. of vegetables. We've got some rice, we've got some kimchi, we've got some oysters, we have some ginger scallion sauce, and we have some psalm sauce. Yeah. And if we were at a dinner party, mm -hmm. this would be in the middle of the table. I'd have a couple 
forks, but I might also have some tongs yeah. and just have it sort of a, yep. so that anybody can kind of reach in yeah. and start getting with it. So okay, you should we go. just jump in? I think you should just jump in. Okay, so I'm just going in. I just, look at that, wham! I go in and I start pulling some meat out. Boy, oh, it just rips up and, you, and then you could shred it if you like or you can have pieces, like people, they're, like yeah. your guests are gonna be like wild animals on this stuff, right? <laughs> and then this, you know, listen to that crackle, you know? And like, you could do this for dessert oh my gosh. <laughs> or Ooh. just oh, right. try okay. that out. I will have that. Ooh. The texture is kind of neat. You know, <laughs> you know, I was saying the leopard spotting, oh but my God. it is like pizza dough. These are raised mm -hmm. pieces where the mm -hmm. skin has now come up over the fat mm -hmm. to right. assemble. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple pieces right okay. there. Okay, yep. Oop. 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 Okay. And then, you want an oyster? Sure, yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna give you an oyster. Okay. Scrape that guy in there. Thank you. Do a little Thank you. Oh my gosh. Where do you I'm stand? Gonna skip, I'm gonna, I love kimchi, but I'm gonna have mine without kimchi right now. I'm just gonna have a little pinch of a little pinch of rice. A little pinch of rice. Not too much, right? Not, not too much. Okay, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. All right. Well, wow, that looks like a good you bite. There Here we, we go. go. Mm -mm. That's really good. I mean, it's so good. It's such a delicious bite to eat. It's like. It's got every every flavor <laughs> that you want. It's like salty, sweet, there's crunchy, soft. Wow. Mm. So good. It's delicious every time. Every time. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I forget. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be great, and then it's twice as good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make another one. All right. Okay. That's you too. what I got. Okay. All right, I'm doing one of these. Just yeah. Get in there like that. Okay. I'm going in. Oyster. The oyster does add, it's varsity to be sure, but um, it adds a really delicious. Yeah, that brininess, so good. Okay. So this and like many hundreds more recipes from the New York Times <laughs> are available in the essential New York Times cookbook. Oh, you want some rice? There you 10th go. anniversary edition. Not gonna, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, there you You're getting rice. Okay. That tells you everything right. you need to know about me and Amanda <laughs> right there. You want rice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Glad I so wanted the rice. Sam, thank you so much. Of course. For joining us. This was awesome. Mmm. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm cool. covered in juices. I'm gonna drink some. Isn't this in the book too? Yep, this is McCrute Lime Lemonade. And Yummy, it's, right? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. We did it. We did Cheers. it. Very nice. Thank you so much, Sam. Pleasure as always, Amanda. You can find uh, the Bosan recipe on the cooking app and also in the Essential New York Times cookbook, which we hope you'll check out. Come hang out on New York Times, hang out on Food 52. If you want to watch my um, dubious um, cook cooking show, Amanda messes up in the kitchen. Love I'm on, it. I'm on YouTube and IGTV, and thanks for coming and joining us. Brand right. Synergy. <laughs>